Now the attribute that we've uh, called this is hover text. So we can go ahead and write hover text. Now that what this will do is it will take the attribute hover text, which is the value here or here, and it will take that from the class hover. Now the only problem with this is, let's go ahead and just alert hover text out so we can test it, is this will take the attribute from, um, let's just show you, it will take the attribute from the first class that's found. So if we hover over Google, we would expect Google, a powerful search engine, to now be that attribute that we've set, and we've set that description. However, when we hover over PHP Academy, you see that we get the, uh, the attribute that's associated with Google. And the reason for this is that we need to change this, or, well, I'll tell you the reason first. The reason for this is that it's only searched for this element within this particular class, and not unique classes as we hover over them. So instead of using hover, we use this. And the way this changes things is, um, as we hover over a particular element, as we mouse over a particular element, this only gains the element that is, or only takes this attribute from the element that we're currently hovering over or we're currently mouse moving over. So let's go ahead and just refresh the page and see what change that made. So I hover over Google or mouse over Google and it says Google, a powerful search engine. Now, when I hover over PHP Academy, it says tutorials. So we've gained, just by using the this keyword, we've gained the unique attribute from each one. And obviously this is important because you might want to have multiple links on your page and you obviously want to have a unique description or hover text for each one. So now that we've got the hover text, that's great. We can now start to do things with it. But what we need to do is we need to assign it or assign this text uh, to a particular div. So we need to go ahead and first of all style our div that we're going to be using. So I'm going to call this hover div. And we need to apply some properties to it just to make it look nice and just to make it look like, you know, an actual hover over uh, box. So the first thing I want to do is say display none. And this is important because we're going to be um, including this div on our page somewhere uh, and we don't want it to be automatically displayed every time. We only want it to be displayed when we're actually hovering over a particular element. I'm going to set the position to absolute which is also um, extremely important because we're going to be defining the top and the left coordinates as we saw earlier uh, when I was hovering over the link. Let's just get rid of that. When I was hovering over this Google link, we had the coordinates appeared. So we can set the div uh, to particular coordinates. So it's important that we use uh, position absolute. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and set just some aesthetic properties such as font size. Uh, we'll go ahead and give it a background color of white. Um, give it a text color of 404040, 40, 40, which is a nice gray color. Um, and we'll give it a border as well, which I guess is quite important. So that's one pixel solid. Uh, and let's say 999 and we'll give it some padding as well so it doesn't look too near the uh, the edges of our border so now that we've got this hover div let's just go ahead and preview what this looks like uh, in our page so I'm going to say div ID equals that's hover div and some text in here so hover div, uh, we've now just included on our page. And when we refresh, you can see that we've got this some text in here. Uh, now you can see that's automatically overlapped my link. My link is underneath here somewhere. Uh, and that's simply because uh, we've set the position to absolute and not relative or block or anything else like that. So now that we've got this and we're happy with the look of it, we can go ahead and hide it again. Um, and the reason I've just uh, shown you this is because what we're gonna be doing is changing the text within this div every time we hover over a particular element and then that will in turn uh, we can in turn set the coordinates of this div so we're going to keep this here uh, and this must be kept on every page uh, that you use particular links probably not the best way to go about it but for now just as we're learning uh, that's good enough so now that we're back to normal we just have our link and now we need to start setting uh, what's going to happen when we actually hover over it so we've already got the hover text, but we need to go ahead and actually set the um, position of this hover div. So let's go ahead and use a selector, hover div, and we need to use the CSS um, 
function, if you like, to change the properties of this div. Now, as you know, or probably know in uh, CSS, we can use top and we can set the uh, element to a particular um, place. So I can say top and left 20 pixels. So if we go ahead and unhide this again and place some text inside here, you can see that's moved it 20 pixels from the top and 20 pixels from the left. So now that we've done this, we know that what we can do is we can set the top and the left of this div, the top and the left positioning of this div, to the coordinates relative to the link that we showed earlier. So now hopefully that starts to make sense. Let's go ahead and get rid of that. And let's go ahead and get rid of that. And also the top and left uh, properties as well. So we want to use jQuery to set the top CSS property of this um, particular div. And we want to do that using the E object. And again, remember we used um, the uh, client X and the client Y um, of this. So the um, top position will be client Y. And then we go ahead and bind on another CSS changer. And this time we want to change the left to E.clientX. So E.clientX and E.clientY are the values that we returned earlier and displayed to the user. But now instead of that, we're setting the top property of our um, hover div to the coordinate that the user is currently hovering over at. And then we set the left property to the X axis. So now you'll see that when we hover over, uh, well, nothing happens at the moment, but you will see when we hover over, uh, the CSS will change for hover div according to the position that the cursor's at. So now all that's left to do is go ahead and actually um, show the uh, the div. And we want to do this before we actually set the position. 